Okay, so in this episode, we're gonna talk about how to actually use our style sheet alongside our HTML file. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna kind of give you guys some examples of you know, some objects and some text and how you can use the style sheet to interact with it. So inside our HTML file, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the text we created in the last episode. And I'm gonna create a object inside our body tags. Now an object is created by writing div tags, which is essentially just div. You need to make sure you actually open it and you close it. Inside the div, we can go ahead and write stuff, but for now, we're just gonna leave it blank. So if I were to save this and refresh my browser, you'll notice that we don't actually see anything. And that's because we didn't write anything yet. We didn't do anything to this div. We didn't tell it what kind of height it had to be, what kind of width it should have, you know, what kind of background color should be inside of it. So that's what we're gonna do with the style sheet right now. So inside our style sheet, we can actually start styling this object since we already linked to it. So our HTML file does know what the style sheet wants. So inside our style sheet, we're gonna go ahead and say, we have a div space. Then we're gonna open up the code and close it again with curly brackets, like so. And you don't actually need to put it on the next, on the next line like I did here. You can actually put them right next to each other, like so, and then write code in here. But it's just, a really nice way to do stuff to, to have some order in it, to do it this way. So inside here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, write what needs to change with this div. So first of all, we need to tell it, okay, we want a height, and I'm gonna want to tell it that the height should be 100 pixels. So write height colon 100 px for pixels. Then I close it by writing semicolon. And that's how you need to close every time you write a piece of code inside CSS. It's very important you close it because otherwise you're gonna get some kind of weird error and something is gonna happen on your website that you don't know what is. And then you should always double check for these kind of errors. Below here, we're gonna write width 100 pixels. And then we're gonna give it a background color as red. Now again, I'm just sort of demonstrating here, so don't you don't have to follow along on this piece of code, at least for this episode. But for the next episode, we'll actually be doing stuff together. But for now, you can do this as practice or you can just kind of watch me. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and see what happens to our div box. Whoa, there we have a red box. So that's essentially how we style objects and do stuff to them. Now with this kind of styling, we can tell it how objects need to look like and how they need to position themselves onto a website. So if I were to create margin on the left side of the box, which is spacing on the left side, uh, and put it to 100 pixels, refresh my browser, you'll see that it actually moves 100 pixels to the right because I added space to my left side. Now, if I were to create some text on the website, let's go ahead and create some text underneath our div with a paragraph tag, which is done by just writing P. Make sure you open and close the code. And inside here, we're gonna say, this is so much fun, exclamation mark, save it, and refresh the page. You can see we have some text down here. And because I put the paragraph tag tags after my div box, it does not appear inside the box. But if I were to take this paragraph, put it inside my div box, it would actually appear inside the box itself like so. Now styling doesn't have to be done on only dip boxes. We can style essentially everything on a website that we put inside an HTML sheet. So if I were to go ahead and style my paragraph like so and tell it, okay, we want a color to be blue. I would like for the font size to be 24 pixels. save it and refresh the browser. You can see that it changed. So we can essentially change everything. Now, of course, this is a very simple way to do it, but what if you have more than one div on your website? What if you have more than one paragraph on your website? Because you will, you will have a lot of them. Um, how do you specify specifically which one of them it is you want to style? And we're gonna get into that in the next couple of lessons. For now, this is all I wanted to show you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.